As you may recall, Python's built-in help function returns documentation for a given function. For example, on line 14, I can invoke help and pass in a sample function like len. And this is going to give me the documentation. We don't even need to wrap this in a print function, by the way. So here we have the documentation for len returns the number of items in a container. Now this is coming from developer defined documentation from within Python. And we can actually add this feature to any of our own functions. We can add our own documentation through something called doc strings. Now we're gonna cover doc strings in greater depth later in the course, but for now, the very basic gist of it is at the very top line of a function body, if we define a string, the contents of that string will serve as the written documentation, and that's what's going to be printed if we pass one of our own functions to help. So for example, here in Complex Business Sum, I can define documentation like adds two numbers together. And what I want to do here is first up, I want to comment out the be nice decorator. And the reason I want to do this is so that complex business sum stands by itself. This is now a regular, isolated, simple function. So now if I pass in my own function of complex business sum to help, we're going to get the documentation for complex business sum. And here it is, adds two numbers together. So the string that we have provided as documentation on line number 12, which is called the doc string, is what will be printed when the function is passed to help, right? And the reason I show you this as it's functional is to show you what's gonna happen when we wrap this in a decorator. We're gonna see that this functionality is going to be lost. So here is our documentation, and when I re-execute this file with the function decorated, we're now going to see inner, see? Because when we're invoking complex business sum, remember, we're actually invoking inner, and that's the same function under the hood right here. And what we're getting here is this, rather than the actual documentation for complex business sum. So the solution to this problem is to wrap our inner function inside the be nice decorator with another decorator that is available directly from the Python library. Now, this is one of those unfortunate moments in the course where I ask that you just memorize the syntax for now, and we'll worry about the complexity of how this works later. If you wanna dive into the Python code base, you're more than welcome to do this. But this is actually a feature, a decorator, that is found from within the func tools module. So the first thing we need to do is to import func tools on line number one, import func tools. And right here, I'm going to decorate my inner function inside my be nice function. How do we apply a decorator? It's gonna be the exact same approach as we have on line number 13. We're gonna do an at sign. This decorator is called wraps and it's found within my func tools module. So I'm going to do func tools. We're gonna access that wraps decorator as an attribute. And then we're gonna to have to do one more thing. We're gonna feed in fn right here. Okay, I know it's a little bit complex to understand what's going on here, but the key takeaway here is that this syntax on line number four is gonna preserve our original documentation that we pass in here, right? So now when I save and execute this file, you're gonna see instead of getting the documentation for inner, we're going to get the original documentation for complex business sum, which is the fn function uh, that we passed in. So we're gonna get that function, we're gonna pass it into this wraps decorator function, and it's gonna take care of the logic of copying this logic over uh, to what to this thing that we're pe uh, passing in to help. I apologize if this is a little bit kind of uh, up in the air. The whole point here is to show you what happens uh, whenever we decorate a function and how its documentation is lost and how we can preserve it using this additional decorator. The reason that I really wanted to do this is because whenever you're going to be running into professional code bases, you're gonna see this pattern a lot. So I want you to understand why it exists and what it's doing. You don't really have to understand all the complexities of what Functools is doing under the hood, but remember that the key purpose of this is to just ensure that the original documentation is kept. So that's what the wraps decorator is doing for us. And we wrap it around our inner function, our wrapper function that we're gonna be returning from our decorator. And it's gonna ensure that the doc strings from our function that is wrapped are gonna be preserved whenever we pass it in to our help function or anywhere else where documentation may be used. That's all there is to cover in this lesson. In the very next lesson, we're actually gonna dive into a sample from a real life code base that's gonna show you all of these features in action. So you're gonna see how all of these decorator concepts apply in a real world, world scenario. So lots of fun to be had there and I will see you in the next lesson.